Liquid Air 101. Um, I'm going to explain this as easily as I can, but we get a lot of questions about the Liquid Air product that we apply twice a year, and I can explain a little bit of that. Um, if you can imagine uh, taking a bale of peat moss and all the nutrients that are available in that and all the beneficial uh, things that that can do for a soil, if you take that bale of peat moss and you mush it down into a very concentrated form, that's basically what liquid air is. It's based in a linardite shale, which is an ancient organic matter source that's very concentrated. As we apply these humic acids and fulvic acids to the soil, we increase the soil's cation exchange capacity, which is the soil's ability to retain and release nutrients uh, to plants. So overall, your plants will be healthier, the healthier your soil is. These products help increase the health of the soil by increasing the cation exchange capacity, which promotes better soil structure, which promotes better water infiltration and water retention which promotes a much more robust microbial community in our soil. Soil is a living thing. Um, so we want to increase the amount of beneficial microbial activity in the soil. It just makes for a healthier lawn or a healthier tree or a healthier shrub. Um, the benefits of liquid air are numerous as compared to any disadvantages. And one of the main advantages of liquid air is it hits 100% of the lawn. Core aeration, the kind that most people are used to where we poke holes in the lawn, really only changes or affects about one to 2% of the overall area of soil. So very little of the soil is affected by core aeration, in my opinion. Liquid air hits 100% of the lawn. It's safe for sprinklers. Anybody who's had core aeration done knows that if you run that machine in the parkway strip that has drip in there, you create a series of problems that can take hours to untangle. This does not affect irrigation, and that is one of the main benefits of this. It improves overall soil health, where just poking a hole in the soil, it's, it's, it's a secondary uh, benefit. It improves the biosphere, the living element of the soil that plants interact with. You can treat wet soil with it, where if you poke uh, mechanical holes in the soil when it's wet, you're probably doing more harm than good. Um, and finally, it won't disrupt your pre-emergent. Pre-emergent goes as a barrier that when plants grow through it, they hit that herbicide barrier and they die as they're emerging from seedlings. If you poke holes all in that, it's possible that you disrupt that barrier and you consequently have more weed problems. Um, there are some negatives um, or less positives um, to, uh, to liquid air. The first one being that it's a lot like going to the gym. If you go to the gym and you're sick, one trip to the gym is not going to make you healthy. If you're already pretty healthy or you want to improve your health, you go to the gym, it takes some time for this to be a benefit. This is kind of the same. It's cumulative. Soil health takes time to develop, so we recommend that it be done uh, for more than one or two applications. You may not see a dramatic change over one or two applications, it takes time. The second, it's not going to be ideal for severe compaction situations where we normally see that as under the gate, where all the foot traffic is going through, or where a dog or a pet may be running the fence uh, perimeter. Usually you see some severely compacted soils. Liquid air is not really gonna improve that a lot um, immediately. Um, and finally, the process is dependent upon other factors like water, like sunlight, like um, uh, oxygen uh, exchange. So there are some things that make it less, um, uh, make, it, make it where it's more of a longer term investment. But overall, the positives dramatically outweigh the negatives. And I'm gonna make another video about core aeration and why it is not always ideal and in my opinion, is one of the most overdiagnosed and overrecommended services in all of landscape. Thank you for your time.